Welcome to another episode of our weekly videos. Today, we will do a species profile video on rainbow belly pipefish, Microphys diocata, also known as, Indian royal green pipefish. They are a freshwater pipefish species belonging to the Cygnathidae family. These are one of very few completely freshwater pipefish species on the planet. They are a small brownish green pipefish that grow to a maximum of 6.5 inches. What makes this species truly unique is the brightly colored sail the females of the species use for a stunning display during courtship. It is native to the Brahmaputra River Basin in Bangladesh and India and lives in rivers, streams and lakes, among aquatic plants. It is a very difficult fish to keep like all other freshwater pipefish. Because it is easily outcompeted for food by faster, more agile surface feeders that often grab food before the pipefish has a chance. So a dedicated species aquarium seems best for them. But some bottom feeders such as Corydoras catfish, Plecostomus species or shrimp varieties that like the same water parameters as the rainbow belly pipefish can also be included. Rainbow belly pipefish need slightly cold water without too much flow. It is a fully freshwater species, unlike many other pipefishes that tend to have tolerance towards brackish waters as well. The aquarium must be heavily planted with lots of plants that allow them to ambush their tiny prey, hide or be attached to. Water Parameters Temperature, 71 degrees Fahrenheit to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Or 22 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. pH, 6 to 7.5. Hardness, 3 to 10 dgh. Feeding. Being a micro predator, rainbow belly pipefish's diet mainly consists of micro crustaceans and insect larvae in its natural habitat. Due to the small mouth size, they require small food sources like brine shrimp, copepods or even daphnia. It usually doesn't eat fully grown shrimps, but may pick off the eggs from buried female shrimps and eat shrimplets. This is why I suggested Neocardina, or similar size shrimps that is possible tank mates, because although a shrimplet may be taken occasionally, the adults are simply much too large for the fish to consume. Those who have kept them successfully often use a feeding strategy by introducing Daphnia moina, or Magna cultures in the tank. This is a food source that can be raised in the tank to help provide a more constant food source above other introduced foods. This is because the full-grown adults are too large for the pipefish to consume. But they will produce nopley that are small enough to consume, and are gladly eaten by the pipefish. Commercially sold aquatic mosses like java moss are also a good choice to decorate the tank. Since they usually come with a culture of infusoria or other small crustaceans which can also be a food source for the pipefish. Breeding the rainbow belly pipefish as with any fish, benefit greatly from good quality foods to get them in breeding shape, along with good and stable water conditions. This picture shows the striking behavior and colors of the female in courtship, and that is the main reason as to why someone would go through all this effort to keep this species. The females of this species extend their vividly colorful sails when they are in breeding condition, and during courtship, they perform a curious looking accordion-like movement. Once they have chosen a mate, the male fertilizes the egg in the female's belly. After fertilization, the female deposits the eggs into the brood pouch of the male. The eggs will remain there until the end of the incubation period. About 15 days later, the eggs will hatch and the fully developed young pipefish will be released from the male's pouch. Does this sound familiar? Yes, you got it right. This behavior is similar to seahorses. Pipefish and seahorses belong to the Cygnathidae family and therefore they share a lot of similarities. The newborn pipefish will be around half an inch or 1.5 centimeters in size. Being so tiny and as they have such small mouths, it is crucial to have a good supply of Daphnia, baby brine shrimp or infusoria for them to eat. It is important to make ready the food source for the babies before they are hatched from the eggs. To summarize, the rainbow pipefish is a very rewarding but difficult species to keep alive as they have very specific requirements. Even though they have a lifespan of around 5 years, it is difficult for most inexperienced or beginner hobbyists to keep them alive. We consider them as a species to be kept by advanced hobbyists, and recommend you consider keeping them only after you get some experience with few challenging species of fishes. Hope this video helped you understand more about these wonderful fishes. Please let us know in comments, if we have missed anything and we will try to answer your doubts and queries there. If you found this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel to get regular updates about rare fishes, their basic care and breeding. We will meet again next week with another unique video. Until then, take care and stay safe.